and the drafter of the Northern States. Hello, I'm Danny. We are very impressed by your, uh, yeah. So we would like you to fight on the side of the North. Okay, well, why should I? I mean, the South is trying to get me to join their side. Well, for one, we have more soldiers and a huge industrial base. So we would have everything you need for a battle. Okay, it would be nice to have you know, a lot of guns, but what about the food? I get hungry. Well, we have most of the country's food at this point. And what's gonna happen with the trading? I mean, are we still gonna get everything we need? We are planning on blockading the South with our naval power. Well, that's very impressive. I can't lie about that. Yes, it is. And you will be very happy to hear that we own most railroads. So as equipment needed, we would get it to you as soon as possible. That sounds great. Where is the fight going to be located? In the south to protect our soil. Okay, and what about our government? Are they behind our side on this one? They're behind us 100%. Well, one more question I have. Actually, two. How is the army as of right now, and how is the money for our side of the North? The army has already been established and ready to go. With the money, we are, ri are richer than the South and will have less debt after the war, which means less taxes. Okay, thank you. I will go talk to the South, and I will get back to you. We have the advantage of having the best generals and leaders in our army. General Robert E. Lee was in the U.S. Army, and he resigned and joined forces with us because of his beloved Virginia. You would be fed biscuits and gravy for breakfast and fried chicken and ham hocks for dinner. You'd be fed good in the Southern Army. I've lost my place. <laughs> Um, Just once you find it, hold it for a second. Then you know. To realize that most of our men are used to living off the land. They're used to take care, of, take care of themselves, and they ride horses. They're out there. They're not like those northern gentlemen who live in cities and don't know how to ride a horse. Our trade routes have been severely cut off by the north, but we have already made arrangements to have people ship things to us into our ports in South Carolina. We are defending our homeland and that is a great advantage because we will fight harder because we are defending our way of life. We are better equipped with the skills needed and necessary to survive this war. Well, I do really like food, but you talk a lot. I don't know. If I'll be able to join you guys, but I'll get back to you and I'll pick tonight. Thank you. Turnbull. So thank you, Southern States. Thank you. You're welcome.